Of late, the suicides of gay people have become front page news. And while the publicity is great, as it helps us see a real and sad problem, a new trend has taken root as well. As if spinning of the homophobic crowd, making them out to be the victims, was bad enough. They have done something more horrible this time, and it should be addressed by everyone. It is a correlation to causation fallacy at its finest. And it angers me to see them blaming the victims yet again, as well as politicizing the deaths of humans for their own agenda. I did not want to do this video. I hate suicide being used as political fodder. However, to stop them from doing just that, I have to bring it up. First, and I can't believe people still don't get this, correlation does not equal causation. Get that through your thick skulls and into your minuscule brains. If you want to make an argument of that caliber, then prepare to see just how wrong you are. These poor individuals are not committing suicide because they are inherently miserable as a result of being gay. As we know, suicide is often a result of outside influences and affected much less by personality traits or even psychological instabilities. You heard that right. Psychological instabilities are responsible for suicide less often than outside events. Events not under control of the victim. Let's look at the facts in the matter of gay suicides and see why the attempt by the homophobic morons is fallacious. We know there has been an increase in reported incidents of violence towards homosexual individuals. Though this may not be an actual increase, it is at least now evident that there is a lot of it. We know that people who are openly homosexual in their lives are ridiculed and mocked, even verbally threatened, quite often. Again, this may have always been there, and is just now being reported better. But it's still a lot of persecution. We know that a person who is feeling less valued in life because of how they are treated is prone to suicide. These few facts show, without using correlation to causation, that the homosexuals are being placed into situations that are often resulting in suicide. So I invite everyone who witnesses someone using the fallacy that gay people are inherently prone to suicide to promptly and unceremoniously tell them to just shut up. Do not bother engaging them. Do not bother trying to show them how wrong they are. Do not even bother considering them to be intelligent enough to educate on the matter. Just tell them to shut up and then mock and ridicule them. As far as I see it, homophobic people are less than human. Until they start treating homosexual people better, we should just treat them as less than human until they know what it's like. Right now there are enough people who support equal rights, and since the homophobes can't be considered a protected class, let's teach them a lesson they won't forget anytime soon. Do not mock them to the point of suicide, though, please. Just enough that they lose their hope in their lives and realize just how wrong they are. Forget societal customs, forget manners, forget live and let live on this matter, because these suicides need to end, and every new story just gives them more ways to blame the victims. War is a messy thing, especially when one side cannot defend themselves and the other is intent on destroying them. 